Exactly. Hey, Hi, guys. <laughs> it's Kita. And Rachel. This Welcome. Is Pink. Exactly. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> this week has uh, uh, been a interesting week. Okay. It's the last week of the month, Black History Month, is officially almost over. Yeah, that's true. Did you do your Black History? Did you make Black History? I, I did my taxes. Oh, you didn't is get that Black time? History enough? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even know. I don't know either. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I need to read more. You need to who, what? Read more. Read more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. About us and our history, okay. our culture. Um, yeah. You need a book? Let me know. I'll check that shit out. I need a I book. I need this back into the library. <laughs> okay. Or I'm going to. What do I have to give you? <laughs> Are you going to keep something? Yeah. You're not going to get your driver's license and you turn in that fucking book, right? I don't want your phone. Keep this card. Keep this library it. card. <laughs> <laughs> you can have my phone, girl. Uh-uh. -uh, <laughs> uh -uh, I'm good. That shit don't work anyway. You need to practice. So, yeah, so you made a resolution for Black History Month. We need a resolution. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I did. Yeah, what did I do with Black History? I always consider myself as Black History. Every I, I try to tell my children, hey, do a report on your mama. <laughs> like, they like, like bitch, for real, like you? <laughs> no, for real, for real. Like, your mom is the only black person in her department. For real. Like, and I have been, I'm serious. I'm so serious, and I've been there for years. You have. As the only black person in the No, um, not the whole time. No, don't I, do didn't, that. I didn't say the whole okay. time. I said for years, man. That's true. Okay, don't, that's don't true. Don't be calling me no Oh, but well, you know they ain't going to let you go. I ain't even going to lie. What is that called? Uh, <laughs> Affirmative <laughs> <What is it? laughs> action. <laughs> we got one color. I mean, what do you want us to do? <laughs> All you need is one. We met the status quo. Exactly. Is it status quo? Or no, it's the uh, quota. <laughs> Not this guy. Like, what? Pre-crow? <laughs> Pre I don't know. What you're saying. <laughs> no, and I was not saying that. Okay. But yeah, so um, what happened this week? A lot has happened this week that I can't communicate about, but it's 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 been interesting. Okay. A lot has happened this week that you can't communicate about. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, and that's and I'm gonna leave that right there. Okay. But I'm strong. Y'all pick that up or not. <laughs> I'm strong. I'm powerful. I'm amazing. I'm beautiful. I'm confident. Yes. I'm wealthy. I'm healthy. Yes. I'm powerful. All of that. We affirm all of that daily. Right. We do. We we don't. We don't. We don't need just a a, a tough situation or week to affirm these things. We affirm these things daily. We're all of these things. So it, wow, that's crazy. So um, <laughs> really crazy. Yeah. So do you um So you can I mean you want me to talk about my week since you uh, well, since I can't say shit. Okay. Oh, uh, my week. Um my week has been very enlightful to me. Um because you know, last week we were talking about you know, me going to have this um consultation. Yes. I want to get a fucking consultation. I don't care what people say. But I but I know what what Kita and and Jay were saying last week to be true because they're going to say, "Well, there are some things that you're going to have to do first mm -hmm. before we consider doing anything." And obviously that's lose weight. So, um I took my children to the doctor and um you know, we all basically have work to do, right? So, I was like, "Well, great. This is going to now catapult me." And you want to be a great example. You don't want to we don't want to continue to educate them ignorantly. Like, you do what I say, not as I do. Yes, I got, I'm over here with high blood pressure and diabetes and shit. But you need to be eating right and exercising, right? right. So um, we want to be better leaders and better examples. And for our mm. kids to want to write a book report about us, right? You know, my mom inspires me because her fat ass lost weight. And she told <laughs> me to do it, too. And we did it as a family. So The end. Exactly. Um, yeah. So I have been actively um, taking vitamins um, and supplements. Um, I have been drinking water. I've been preparing my meals. And I've also had my teenager prepare her own meals because in, in educating our children, since they are the future, you know, we all want to lead by example. So I have her select her foods and prepare her own meals. Okay. Um. And so she's been doing a great job about that. And so I have not bought food this week. No out, uh, eating out? No eating so out. Um, we did go out to eat, I want to say yesterday. It, we went to Luby's. Um, you know, Luby's like is, Luby's. you know, home cooked 
ish food. Healthy ish. Um, it's healthy ish. Yeah. So, um, opposed to going to a fast food restaurant and saying, hey, give me a burger, you know, take that off, add that, we went um, to Luby. So, ev even going out to eat, I want her to be mindful of the choices that she makes. And um, I, I want to create, um, you know, a healthy, wealthy, lifestyle. successful lifestyle. I don't want it to be a diet. It's a lifestyle. So if you look at it like diet, you're going to go in and saying, I'm depriving myself of something. I'm, um, I'm first word in diet is die. die. We right. Do die. And right. We're not doing that. So it's basically a lifestyle change. And so uh, we have been actively, you know, um, preparing our meals. Um, um, that's lunch and dinners and um, drinking a lot of water. I, I know for me, um, it's very important for me to drink a lot of water. And I, I notice how my skin um, gets when I do these things. Very, It's very supple. Um, it's clear. Um, and I've even been sleeping better. Um, it doesn't, I'm not up actively looking at my phone because, you know, I have insomnia. I can't sleep. I've, and, and so I've ma also made um, efforts to walk more. Now, walking is not exercise but it is me being mindful of okay i gotta move first step. right so it's a first step for me Baby so step. on my two breaks you know at work i've been actively walking oh, so that's my so proud of you. my rundown for the weekend i got some household mm -hmm. bullshit going on but you know it's, it's all good i just might go to that consultation with you now yeah but i know I, yeah. that i know that i have work to do yeah. so i don't want to go in there and say hey i'll write a check or take it off a credit card I know I have work to do, and honestly, I feel like the the, the direction that I'm going, <coughs> I'm I'm probably not gonna need what I want right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I I just think I need to do do more work. She listens, and so that's what I'm working Pinkies, on. Pinkies, she listens. Can you tell? I'm so proud of her. Let's give her a gold exactly. star. <laughs> I feel I feel something right here already. Oh, you look good too, girl. Okay. So we have a guest. So excited. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to, y'all know, I could butcher a name, so I'm not even going to do it. I'm not going to disrespect. <laughs> um, you know, we're we going to do it right. Let's so we, right. we have a guest. We want to bring our guest in and let her say her name and introduce herself. Step in. Step out. Introduce <laughs> 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 I'm Shalita Grant. Yeah. Uh, it said that I was a model. That's sweet, but I've never oh. really modeled ever. Uh, but I'm an actress, uh, Tony nominee, and I'm also the CEO and founder of Four Naturals. Hell yeah. Four Naturals, baby. Four Naturals. That's amazing because I know we were talking off camera mm -hmm. about your business, mm -hmm. which we are all natural. Obviously. As you can tell. <laughs> And I'm always looking for something, right? The you know, not the next best thing, but something, something great, right? And for naturals, is it's it's hair and skin, right? It's just hair. It's mm -hmm. just hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you can you explain to us exactly what the hair product does? What is what does it do for us? Yes. So uh, the four naturals treatment is truly a hair treatment. Mm -hmm. So it's called Four Naturals because it's geared toward all of us with type four hair. Right. And so what does it do? What is the treatment? It literally treats every chronic and complex type four hair problem mm -hmm. that we have naturally. Wow! It's four steps. The first step is the patent pending detangling method because detangling is an area of basic hair care where we see a lot of hair loss, where there's a lot of generational pain with right. kids, you know, right. like because right. your hair hurt getting detangled, right. you believe that detangling your kid's hair should hurt. Right. And so we have a very simple streamlined detangling system that's super cheap and easy to do. Mm -hmm. And then the magic is this kind of mud mask. Mm -hmm. This is where the magic happens. And yes. so what you're seeing now, I know this is a podcast, but so you're So wait, you're saying you have four type 4C hair? Yeah, I do. So <laughs> we're going to go into uh, we're going to go into photos uh -huh. um, and show you what 
Four Naturals has done for me and like the why I created it right. and then what I'm doing for other black women. Okay. So I'm just going to jump in because <laughs> photos fine. are amazing. Yes, and they are. Amazing. Yes. Um, so let's jump in. So this is the Four Naturals treatment. This is a first treatment result. Uh, the before and the after. And so when you ask like, what does the treatment do? It takes your before and it turns it into an after permanently. And treatment over treatment, it's progressive, meaning that treatment over treatment, the hair gets better, the curls get stronger, your moisture retention gets better, uh, the, the weight in the hair is better. Right. What you're seeing now is right. I, I thermally straighten my hair on Wednesday. And right. so... Uh, I have Whoa, high. Wait, what? Wednesday? <laughs> Wednesday, yeah. Is there no yeah. humidity where you are? <laughs> <laughs> I've showered everything. Yeah. This wow, is... you work out? Yeah, this all is... of it. What? I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. It just. It, I know. It, it looks amazing. I, I don't know. What I know. Like, like perm. I know. I know. Like, it's relax. truly, it's truly an amazing, <laughs> incredible treatment. And so I'm going to take you through how we got started. So this is how it all began. So I was on a show for mm -hmm. three years called mm -hmm. NCIS New Orleans, and it was a show on CBS. Right. And for the people that watched it, they knew that Percy, my the last name of my character, right. her hair was different, like her ponytail would change like in the middle of the episode. Yeah. But what they didn't know, what they didn't know was that I was chasing damage. So this is on the left in Old Metairie in January. This was the middle of season three. Mm -hmm. And so um, we had went from like a wig and some leave out at the end of season one when I first came on to extensions right. in the beginning of mm -hmm. season two to like a ponytail with like the, you know, round the corner like piece added to it. Right. And then season three, it was this uh, wig with a lot of leave out on the perimeter. Right. But when I took it down, I saw the difference between my hair under the wig right. and my hair that was being left out and right. being flat ironed, right? Exactly, right. And so when in June in Brooklyn, this is actually the moment I realized that I had to quit my job because mm -hmm. in just six months, I went from hair that went relatively like to my nose. Right all the way up to the top of my scalp. Like basically, like I was basically balding. Basically like baby hair, right. Yeah. And so what you didn't know was that in season two, the reason I went from the extensions into the ponytail with like the piece added mm -hmm. was because for months I was in those extensions and I did one episode where I went underwater. And so there was a lot of like rehearsal in uh, chlorine and in right. like lake water in New Orleans. And then when I took that down, I had a bald spot in the center of my head, which is barely a blip now, but oh, that's wow. because... I healed it. So, right. but that's like jumping ahead, years right. ahead. So right. when I was in Brooklyn, I was at the Aveda, like getting my hair colored. And it was just like abundantly clear to me that my hair was falling out and I was going to have to quit my job because I had been going through this with them for years. And right. the only thing I was getting was damage. And so enter the infamous season four wig. And right. so... What people didn't know, like on Twitter, they would like send these tweets like, oh my God, what is wrong with her hair? Like, can somebody help her? Like, what is going on? Like, it looks right. like shoe polish, right. like all of that. I, uh, but oh, what they wow. didn't know I was that- I remember these, yeah. Yep, yep. And how did you feel when uh, you saw me like that? Well, you know, I, I felt like, I honestly don't feel like it's the person's fault. I feel like the stylists stylist aren't educated enough to protect because you have an image that they want you to, you know what I'm saying? Right. This, yeah. They, they yeah. want you to portray, but I'm like, <clears throat> you, you I'm, my job is to act. It's not right. to do my hair also. Yeah. You pay somebody to do that. So yeah. I feel like industries need to know about healthy hair care. Even yeah. when you have it, when you have leave out, because I, I honestly don't feel like laces and wigs are the solution. No, they're Cause not. Cause and you, I agree. It can also damage your hair underneath as well. Yeah. And Rachel, like what, like the emotion that I hear behind what you're saying, like, yeah, like, so imagine being the person going through it right. and our show, like 
we would get like a, a low rating was like 9 million people, right? right. Like right. we would celebrate 20 million, 22 right. million people. Right. And so for me, it wasn't a celebration. It was really just like humiliation because, right. Right. you know, I had nine them. to 20, exactly. Yep. And for me, there was no joy in like watching the show that right. I was spending like hours working on because I was being traumatized. <laughs> like right. that was, it, it was what it was. So there was no joy for me there. Right. So that's the wig. Right. But what people didn't know was that like my hair, I have typical African-American hair in that mm. it's not damaged, but I have high porosity. I right. could not see a curl pattern. Yeah. My story is like my hair would get wet, but then it would get immediately dry. Absolutely. When my hair was dry, it would dry and it would look so ashy. Like right. it would be so hard to right. find like yeah. weave. Yep that like match my hair because when my hair was dry, it was like this weird, like four energy, but then, it, but then it wasn't a full four, full number right. four, right. you know? So right. that was like, that was my life. And so in San, this picture in San Francisco, this was me like trying to like accept my natural hair. Mm -hmm. And so um, I went to a, this a salon in LA that was like known for like natural hair. And she like, I spent all day in the salon. Like I went because I was like, I'm going to San Francisco and I know there's gonna be some humidity there. I was like clearly by the water. And I was like, I wanna be like natural. I wanna like wear my natural hair. Yeah. So I go to the salon, I spend all day there. She blow dries my shit. She like two strand twists my shit. Right. And because I come from the hair salon, so I was raised in Virginia. I was born in Baltimore, raised in Virginia, I moved back mm -hmm. to Baltimore. But my grandma's owned a hair salon since before I was born, Hair right. Dreams 2 in Petersburg, Virginia. Mm -hmm. um, so I knew what we knew about our hair. Like my first right. job was Shampoo Girl. Um, mm -hmm. And so when she was doing this, I was like, I know that I know my hair and I know it's not gonna stay like this. And literally, this was like a day and a half after that hair appointment, $200 and a whole day like gone. And right. my hair just like stands up right. Right. and shrinks and gets right. really stiff. Right. So for me, with that job, it was literally hair problem after hair problem. Typical African-American hair, atypical job in that my job yeah includes my hair right. like in order for me to transform my hair is part of that and as a black right. woman your hair tells a story and so right. each of my characters have a different hair story but this character's hair story was just damage so because of the heat damage from season one mm -hmm. i wore extensions for nine months in season two but right. because of the traction alopecia right. i wore a partial wig and right. because of the breakage i wore a full lace full wig, wig. Right. and because right. i looked and felt horrible i ended up leaving my job and millions of people watched and i was humiliated like right. these are comments that i like pulled right, from right. twitter right. <laughs> that I, at the time right. they hurt me deeply right. because... it's, it's funny because i want to ask you why you left but you already said it it, yeah. your, it is humiliating and and yeah. i just feel like the industry in whole needs to know about natural hair. Yeah. It, 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 it should. they want to. But, no, we, but, but what, I'm know, saying, like, what, what I'm saying is if if I am a director, yeah. right? Yeah. My job is to direct. If you're the actress or actor, your job is to act. Mm -hmm. You have a hair care team there. Their job is about hair. Masking it shouldn't be the answer. And getting but, someone with type C or 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 type two and, and hair isn't the, the and answer I get either. You you're speaking realistically, you're speaking like a human being. Yep. But in a world that we live in, especially these United States of America, which is not united, um, there are certain people that are catered to rather than the other. I mean you you provide opportunities for the other, but you only provide limited resources for those people. And because yeah. we are black, and Rachel hates when I talk like this, but because we're black, we don't get the same benefits as our counterparts. Exactly. So we are neglected in almost so, every so area, let me ask even you, in this. Right. So let me Am ask I you a wrong, question. I, I'm not well, saying you're wrong. I'm yeah. not, and, I, and I think that's why we work well together. <laughs> our opinions are totally different. I, and I'm not saying that you're wrong. Are, were there 
were there African American stylists there? Yeah. So like my experience is as frustrating as it is, but it is common. It is. This, like what I went through is not special, you know, to me or to that team. Right. It's common. Right. Yeah. So I will answer your question. Yes, I had a black man doing my hair the entire time I was on the show. However, the way that people get hired in Hollywood, the line producer hires the, the hair department head. The hair department head hires everyone under them. Mm -hmm. Now, what you have to understand about TV and movies is our hours are long. Right. Like the 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 glitz and the glamour. Right. Because we're behind only that hour of it. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. that we we're we're fucking sleep deprived. Right. But right. you're working all day with other human beings, and if you have the power to hire people that make you feel comfortable, that are friends, that are going to be cool to hang out with, yeah. that are going to have your back if shit mm -hmm. goes wrong. That's what you're hiring for. Mm -hmm. You're not necessarily hiring to do hair. Right. The other thing you have to understand about the hair department for black actresses right. is that they they contact you before. They contact you ahead of time. And, you know, maybe this is like a benefit now. But when they contact you, they want to know, like, what what did you do with your hair for the audition and how are you wearing your hair? Right. And if you're a black woman that wears wigs and extensions and things, what they do is they will pay for you to get your hair done off site. Okay. However, they don't hire the people that put those extensions in right. or did that weave for you or right. glued your wig down. Right. They don't hire them to do the maintenance. Right. Now I told you we're working 12 to 14 hour days. Right. So no hair holds up that long. Absolutely. There's always some refresh that right. needs to happen, right. Right. but they never hire people that are knowledgeable mm -hmm. in how to do it. They didn't do it themselves. Mm -hmm. So what happens is when the actress's hair, black actress's hair looks bad, it's the black actress's fault because from the standpoint of the hair department, we've done everything that we could. Now, they hired a black man who was a barber, okay? But he was black. And so the question that you yeah. asked me, did you have a black person do your hair? It doesn't fucking matter it doesn't. if they're black, Asian, white, or right. whatever. If you don't have ha black hair knowledge right. and specific to the black head of hair that you're working on, exactly. not just general knowledge, exactly. then it's gonna go wrong. And that's exactly what happened. He had never done extensions. Do you know what he was using to like glue my shit down? Spirit gum. Glue, glue. That's what we use in, in, in the theater, spirit gum, right? So he wasn't even up to date on what we were using. So for me, having this hair background, being the black actress, knowing right. that if I have a problem, I am the problem. And if I don't have a solution, literally no one else is gonna have one for me. I right. kept throwing out like, oh, maybe extensions. Oh, uh, maybe I can go back to the wig. Right, uh, right. Maybe I, because the other thing too is, this was my first fucking job. Oh, so God. like, I wanted this to work out. Yeah. So I did everything that I could to try to make that work out. And sometimes when you're a team player and you're a black woman, it means that you have to play other people's position. And no, that's, that's the reality. That's, that's life. That's life. That's, that, yeah. that's life. that's not even sometimes. We all we yeah. we, we always play in other fucking always. positions. But that's yeah. exhausting. It is, and it was. It is and it was. Which was why when I was in that Aveda, I was just like, I literally don't even know what else to do but fucking quit. Yeah. And I found some wig and I fucking like was like, this is the wig. Yeah. I talked to my reps. Let's get me off the show. In the meantime, in between time, they can't fucking touch my hair. Yeah. Like, mm. and so that entire season four, uh, yeah. right before I left, I would yeah. have guest directors that I had worked with in two and three, and they would like ask me about my hair. And it was just like, I was like, yeah, it's great. I love it. It's so easy. I don't have to worry about anything. But for me, it was coming from a place of, I have been traumatized for the last three years with yeah. trying to have this like fucking ponytail right. and I give up. Right. And for them, it was like, why would she choose to look like that? 
because because it was on me it's a choice right there's no like not taking in choice, everything <laughs> that i went through right, to get right, there right, right. Man, so so how free or how light did you feel when you decided okay this i got i, I have to quit I well, have to do I, I had quitting is my only option. How free did you feel when you actually did it? Well, I'll tell you this. <laughs> this is usually a, a like a, a villain origin story, right? <laughs> like and then it's like and then I like burned it down. Yeah. <laughs> or then like I like never worked again. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah. That's where my heart for me. Yeah. When I like, when I, when I left, I remember like I got to my new house in Toluca Lake in California and I like, it felt like I had been hit by like 13 buses, like not having a clock in, knowing yep. that they were still like doing the show yep. Yep. and I'm like in a different state and I don't have that job anymore. It was like, I got run over and I knew that, okay. I went to trauma therapy for the next three months. Mm -hmm. Like I got off that show. I knew what had happened to me. I was in therapy the entire time. Mm -hmm. My therapist was like, it's time to do different therapy. Let's get you into some somatic therapy because if you want to work again, you're going to be traumatized and triggered whenever a yep. non-knowledgeable person yes, touches yes. your hair. It's Which like, is this is this everybody. shit all over again. Yeah. And it's true. Like yeah. I would meet a producer that reminded me of this producer and it would be like, you know, like heat under my armpits, yeah. like just yeah. like ready to like, you know, protect myself, you know? Right, right, and it's like, right. girl, that is not him. <laughs> right, right. Like, you gotta back up, back right, up, right? right? right. And so right. because I had, like, I had, like, done this, like, work on myself, it was like, okay, I know what's going on. Right, right. <sighs> okay, we'll saw. But what I ended up doing after the three months of trauma therapy, after all of that, I was like, but I still got to heal my hair. Right. So I created what is now the Four Naturals Treatment. Right. So this was in 2019. Oh my God. I, that was phenomenal. Right? Right? Oh my God. Right? And that was my third treatment. Okay. Like treatment number three. Because that was the next question. How long does it take to see, you know, notably for, different effects? One treatment for it most people. Beautiful. One treatment. But progressively, treatment over treatment, right. the hair gets better. The curls are dropping heavier. You know, you need less product to Girl, see the curl. Yeah, like, I, I, you know, I, I'm like, gonna have to take a drink because your hair don't look thirsty at all. Oh, at God. all, baby. Oh. At all. Oh. It just, it's got my mouth dry over here. I'm like, so, oh my God. Now I'm, you, I'm, that's I'm me. So that's me. Right <laughs> Wait till you see other people's results. Mm -hmm. So, how did I get here? Well, after the trauma therapy, I was like, okay, I feel like I'm strong enough to do this, but yeah. I, I kept working. Like I got like two recur jobs after right. leaving that show, but I was still in a wig. And right. so I was like, if I want to like evolve and do other, I got to figure out how to take yep. this fucking thing off. Yep. So I had been natural in college, but then I like two years or so after graduating, I did one thermal straightening right. and it ruined all that hair. And so from 2011 or 12 to 2019, when right. I created the four naturals treatment, right. I had been on this odyssey of like, fuck, I fucked up seven years of yeah. like amazing hair. Yeah. And now I'm like just stringy. I was like in denial. I was putting all kinds of conditioner in there, trying to get the shrink back yeah. and come back. Yeah. So then it was like, all right, go back to the creamy crack. If it's straight, go straight. No. Then it was like, oh no, I got to <laughs> cut all of this off on yeah. the sides and in the back. And yeah. now I'm nominated for a Tony, right? But right. I got this like pompadour situation right, going right. on. And the, like the highest part of my career, I'm having and hair trauma. Right. Then I moved to LA and they're like, oh baby, you need some hair. And so it was like, oh okay. So that started my wig and weave yep. journey. And then yep. that concluded at the end of that show. And so for me, I'd done it all. I'd seen it all. I had had 
people that are like, oh, I worked on Beyonce's hair. I've been to the top of the mountain yep. and I yep. can tell you yeah. there ain't shit up there. Exactly. So on my way down, yeah. I was like, all right, bitch, nobody's <laughs> that coming. Is, that's exactly how it happens. Nobody's coming. Yep. Yep. So, so you, gotta you have to yeah. figure it out. Yep. So yep. I had the time and the money. And so I yep. fucking figured it out. So 2019, I'm doing all this research. And because I, I come from that cosmetology background, right? right. Like I've been working in that right. space. Yeah. I knew that the cosmetology board says hair is hair, which is the definition of erasure, which is why mm. we are in the predicament it's that true. we're in. This is right? True. So mm. I moved over to cosmetic chemistry. So I started mm -hmm. doing all this research all the, on all these studies and things. And then I got interested in non-white successful hair cultures. How did I define success? Length retention. Yeah. Strength. Right. Moisture retention. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I wanted that. And so I lit on India, Eritrea, Ethiopia, and Greece. Yeah. And so I took, what are they using? What are the plants? Because America tells us our hair is so bad. It's so other right. that you need chemical Correct. to like help your situation. And there is only, nothing in it. it yeah, exactly. Because, and the experience of that is, damn, there, my hair must really be that bad because right. it's falling the fuck out. And they're right. telling me that this is supposed to be the only thing for me. And right. so you, there's this cycle of like self-blame and shame right. and this feeling of betrayal, right? Yeah. Like the betrayal of spending eight hours on your fucking twist out. And that includes the drying time yep. only to take that shit like, out and it's limp. It's going yep. eight ways. It's like, it's tear. It's like you feel betrayed, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. So I lit on those emotions as of being a black woman with this black ass hair. Yeah. And I was like, I want to heal that too. Right. Because I know I can. Right. So these cultures, they're using plants. That's all they're using. That's what are the plants true. they're using? They're using henna. They're using cassio bavada. They're using uh, slippery elm. They're even using olive oil. Yep. And they have different practices, mm -hmm. the Eritreans and the Ethiopians for how they detangle their hair. They were pre-pooing before if that was on YouTube, yeah. right? Like, so like before YouTube was even invented, right? Yeah. So, right. so I, I went to these cultures and I was like, how can I use what they're using to solve these problems that I'm having? Right. And so my first treatment, my first henna mud mass treatment, well, before I even started experimenting, right. I was like, girl, you ain't the smartest bitch on the block. So okay. like, just okay. go to people that had right. also used henna and why didn't it work? And right. so what I learned was that they did one of a couple of things. One they used henna that was not, that was subpar. Maybe it had chemical salts, maybe it's used for hair dyeing. So there are like additives mm, in it. Okay. And they didn't use any other like humectant mm, mm. in their like henna mud mask. Because what right. I learned is that in India, every family has their own henna mud mask recipe oh. based on the issues that that particular yeah. family has. Right. So they might add Amla and Shikaki to their henna mud mask treatment to okay. fix maladies that, that that particular family is having with their hair and they do it over the weekend. So Indians do their henna mud mask treatments the way that we do a fucking wash day, which is why <laughs> it takes all day, right? Because you're trying to treat and style exactly. because you know you can't go straight to styling because your hair is not healthy enough to do that right. so you're putting in the avocado and the hot oil treatment and somebody's rice water from 30 years ago <laughs> and you're thinking like okay if i leave this on my hair for like super long it's gonna remain in my hair right like magic yep. and then you rinse it out and you're back to square one, yep. which you don't stop, can't stop, won't stop because yep. you ain't got no other option. <laughs> exactly. So you just keep doing it, right? Yep. Until you lock it up, until you put it away and yep. you try to like step out of that cycle for a moment, right. regroup, and then you come back to the same bullshit. So for me, I was like, I want to interrupt that cycle. Right. So I did that first henna mud mask treatment, doing it all the ways that the people that didn't have a good experience 
uh, didn't do. So right. I made sure I conditioned after. I made sure I added other humectants. And that first treatment, y'all, it was like, it was like so different. <laughs> it was like, it was like you got your time, cherry pops. <laughs> yes. Yep. Like, like at the time, I was also like pole dancing, right? Uh -huh. So I came into pole dance, yeah. like trying to like work on sensuality, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. because I knew I had the sticking point with my hair. I started experimenting, like going to class in LA, you know, with all these bitches. And I would be like trying to like love myself and do these mirror meditations while I'm moving, but I have this giant wig on. And then when I wouldn't wear the wig, like, you know, shit didn't move right. Yeah, but it was yeah. like, it's okay. There is no such thing as right. This is right. right. This is right. You love yourself. Right. You love yourself. Exactly. Exactly. But it was exactly. hard. But ev everything yeah. that you're saying is true though, because we, we do look at it like, oh, it's not moving like theirs. And yeah. we it's, too, it's too heavy. And that's this is one of the main reasons why we chose to lock our hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's because we were doing so much fucking damage. Mm -hmm. Color, speaking of. <laughs> um, but we were doing so much damage constantly that I said, man, I'm just going to step back and not do nothing. Mm -hmm. Just, just mm -hmm. lock it up. You know, Lock it started up. with the twist, started with the, the coil, mm -hmm. and just 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 retighten it every so often and just leave it the fuck alone because yeah. I'm I'm ruining what I already have. And then right. I, I went I went from a fade to this. Like I, I grew my hair out from a fade. You and know? isn't it so frustrating that lot like the difference between locking your hair and like braiding it and putting it under the wig? Only the locking, you got to see that yeah. like goddess yep. light yep. show up, yep. and yep. you're like, "What the fuck is the disconnect?" <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. yes, that's what we because we're like, "Oh, well, maybe we can comb it out now. Now what? it's longer. <laughs> it's, it's heavy. It's got some weight. It's moving." And then it's like, "Well, no, because then we're gonna go <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> we're uh -huh. gonna go right back to uh -huh. where we were." Uh -huh. Oh my god, I totally understand. So this photo, these photos were my third treatment. Right. So after that first one, the I was married at the time mm -hmm. and <laughs> we quickly got divorced after. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I was like, do you see like the difference in my hair? And she was like, yeah, I do. Right. And I was like, I still don't trust it because I'd done the bentonite clay and all that shit mm -hmm. and it didn't yeah. change anything. Yeah. Well. By my third treatment, I did this photo shoot against the wall in the house. I was yeah. like, bitch is cute. Yeah. Bitch is cute. I've yeah. been waking up cute, going yeah. to sleep cute, working yeah. out cute, yeah. going to the grocery store cute as fuck, yeah. Yeah. in the shower, out the shower. Yeah. The shit is cute. <laughs> like, like, it worked. Like, it's yes. Like, girl, when, when I did that first, that first day, Cause I would pull like all day. Like I would pull at this place called Beast Fun and they had classes all day. And I remember uh, the non-white teacher, like the first class of that day, she was just like, oh, um, did you cut your hair? And I'm like walking in my like eight inch platforms, like yeah. doing this sexy walk and like, yeah. you know, like feeling everything. Yeah, yeah. And because she knew that I was in a wig before, she wanted me to own the wig. Yeah. And I was like, no, I didn't cut my hair. <laughs> you know, and these curls are like fucking curly. Yeah. So she's like, oh, oh well, did you like, uh, you know, like, and this is in front of everyone. This is of what course. they would do, you know, no, like, you know this. Love so the it's like, exactly. And I'm like, no, this is just my hair. Yeah. And it was so fucking liberating yeah. and amazing to like have that. And then when I look at that first like dance, that we did. Oh, bitch. I was yeah, like, up and down. Like, 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 yeah, you can see the shower. I'm like, rolling yeah. around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, turning yeah. the heads and shit. Like, <laughs> with the straight hair girls, like, you know, like, because they knew when I would flip over, you yep. could fucking see the back yep. of the this way. This me, bitch. This but me. But now, exactly. It was like, mm -hmm. it's me and girl, yep. it's soft. Yeah. And it's awesome. You know, like, I had a completely different experience and so yeah. I went home and I was like fuck it I'm like this is everything yeah and then it was like all right 
yo, like you literally solved your problem. Right. Now you got to solve the world's problem. Save yeah. the world. Yep. And that's my fucking heart. I'm like, yo, I'm free. So yeah. going back to this photo, yeah. On the far left, I told yeah. you, I have high yeah. porosity hair pre-treatment. Yeah. I have high porosity hair post-treatment. Mm -hmm. I can straighten my hair. Yeah. I have true hair versatility. Right. Why is that? Because henna coats the strand. Yes. And so in the first treatment, you get to feel the weight of your hair. Yeah. What's the reality of our type 4C hair? Well, it stands up yep. and the ends always want to go back to the yep. root, which is why yep. detangling is such a monster, right? Exactly. Because that hair, it's like angel hair and it just goes everywhere, but it snap, pop, crackle, and, it, and it, you can't get it to hang down. Yeah. You know, when the yeah. water hit it, the yeah, shit yeah. stand up. Yeah. You know, like it's, that's the reality pre-treatment, right. but post-treatment, henna is a plant. Plants love water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my tr my clients and me, I get in the water at the beach. Right. I mean, girl, you can't tell me I'm not in Baywatch, okay? Right, right. Me and my dog, I'm like, we are one. I am nature. <laughs> right, we are right, in right. this ocean. You know, that. like I'm running around. Right. And this people are aggy. Like aggy. I'm catching the side shit. Like bitches yeah. like... You know what I mean? Like, what, what, what that wig called? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's like, no, baby girl, this is, this is me. All me. This is me. So I started the Four Naturals treatment. And this is like my hair journey for the last like uh, three years. So 2019, uh -huh. and then I do you. And you know, for me, going from having people, you know, write me on Twitter for NCIS, like, what the fuck is wrong with your hair? To people going on you and being like, I bet that ain't even that bitch's hair. You know, like, it's uh. giving so in, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I'm like, no, baby, it's giving not. Um, it's giving all me. Right. Uh, I started that show with 13 inches of hair. And, yeah. you know, like, I had did uh, two Brazilian blowouts, in, one in June of 2020 and one in September of 2020, yeah. to show my audience that right. literally your hair is gonna be bulletproof. Right. It's bulletproof. Right. And so that second treatment, horrible. Like I like had all this hair come out, I was like, oh my God, I fucked up. But yeah. I just yeah. treated my hair every week with that henna mud mask treatment right. and it fortified my strands. And so I started that show with 13 inches. Six months later, I ended with 16. Right. There were whole episodes where it was literally just my hair, just me, all me, nothing but me. Mm. Never sewed in anything. We did a couple clip-ins. We added a little ponytail piece yeah, to be yeah, cute yeah. one time, but that was my hair, man. Yeah. And then in front of my entire audience, wow. I cut off 16 inches. I don't, where is that? Here we go. 16 inches of hair. Just cut it off. 2021. Why? Why you just cut? She just cut it. And start up. And then I just grew <gasps> all my hair back. Girl, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so all of 2022. So good. We were doing the grow with me challenge yeah, and yeah. can you keep a half an inch a month oh and flat ironing it yeah. and going back to my curls. And like, I didn't have the issues that I had in 2011, 2012, when yeah. I ended up having to like do my big chop, right? Like look at right. me saying, fuck it. it I so forgot good. I was going to show this thing. But yeah, and that was December of last year. And now this is February and this is all my shit. Exactly. Scalp. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like this is all me. And so I'll go back. <laughs> like that's the tale of two characters, like, <laughs> like completely different. And so pre really writing you that this is not your hair. Yeah, yo. Yeah. They were like, it's giving. <laughs> I love it when they do that. It's giving. <laughs> Oh, with giving, some leave out. oh my god a wig you can't afford bitch my scalp <laughs> yes exactly my like my and god, then because head. i was playing such a 
bitch. Like people were just like coming for okay, me. Okay, and I'm like, okay, okay. oh no, but that's why I'm such a bitch. Cause I yeah. can do what you can't, except you can, sis. I got you. I got just, you. Just Aww. come, just come see me, you know? Just come to just the come altar. See come me. to the altar. Okay, no. Yeah. Altar, so down. this was my, <laughs> <laughs> right? So this was my pre-treatment healthy hair. Like that was the best I could get it. I and then it. this was my post-treatment, the healthiest hair ever. Like yeah. that's, that was me. So we saw that. So this is the future of textured hair. So I, this is the salon deck, but uh -huh. salons do have a problem. Like the salon problems are attracting and retaining clients. The retail doesn't do as well as it used to. Nobody's buying your dusty Aveda products off the shelf. That's They're right. going to get it from Amazon. Okay. That's right. You That's know, right. there's a lack of textured hair training. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lack of specialized services for textured and curly hair. And thanks to YouTube, the salon has lost its value. Like black women are coming in and they want to know their hair type. They want to know their porosity. Mm -hmm. And most salon yeah. owners and Don't practitioners know. look at you like you have 15 heads. You right. know, like nobody knows what you're talking about. And that's right. a litmus test for do you know me like can you do this right. and difficult hair equals difficult customers like because our hair is difficult we're branded as difficult that's the same thing of if you have a problem you are the problem right, right. but that's the trauma behind it that's, that's exactly. also another part of it that we have to heal ourselves it's not yep. our fault we're no. just ignorant we're uneducated and there yeah. aren't enough people who have made themselves knowledgeable enough to educate others. There are exactly. just, we, we live in the following industry. Oh, yeah, and they get rich quick. Let's just follow them. Let's just do what they do. Oh, oh, because now it's the wigs. The we gonna follow the wigs. It was the weaves. We gonna follow the weaves. It's like, yep. but don't you want to take care of the shit that you gotta put underneath there? Don't you? Wanna and you do. You shit? do. But, but there's but nothing on offer. They almost look at it like, uh, well, this is me protecting my hair. It's, it's underneath style, it all. Yeah. It's not, yep. and that's not, a, if you're not taking care of that shit underneath it, it's not a protective style. You're no, defeating the it's purpose. Not. You're exactly. doing more damage than good. Yeah. And so, so I'm sorry that happened to you, but I'm so <laughs> glad that that happened to you. <laughs> yeah, like me too. <laughs> no, because I know it's such a huge trauma, but it's a trauma all of us have been facing for, for generations. Yeah, yo, I know. And we and we just it's just like, oh well, well we got fucked up hair. It's it's good hair and it's bad hair. And I tell exactly. my kids, you can't say that in my house. Mm. That's that's not a thing. So even if somebody said, oh you don't have good hair, what the fuck is good hair? Yeah. No, we just Good haven't hair. been educated enough to to take care of our own hair. And yeah. that's part of a huger you know problem. What? And you know what? And it's not just our hair. That's true. Um, it's everything about us. Mm -hmm. it, it's like we're we're aliens in a Exactly. <laughs> and that and that is exactly that feeling of being it, alienated yes. from oh, your yes. humanity yes. was why I was like, I'm gonna fucking figure this out yeah. like i'm going to figure it out because i don't buy that anymore right. i am not an alien i'm a human being yes. and there's something on this earth that god made right. to heal these maladies right. but because the cosmetology board teaches that henna is a bad thing mm. no one deals with henna i'm going to show you uh so cheap right <laughs> so, so relaxers, right? That's the only thing that we have on offer. We know that it breaks the bonds. We know why we get it, but right. you, I don't know if you know, but there are five class action lawsuits right now against every uh, chemical relaxer manufacturer for uterine cancer. So eventually the, the relaxer is not even gonna be on offer anymore. So right. what are salons gonna offer their clients for their chronic complex natural hair problems. They're gonna offer them the four naturals treatment. Yep. The four naturals treatment, it's plant-based, it's smoothing, it's defining, it's defrizzing, it right. balances your moisture, it improves your curl definition, it blends out the grays mm. and heat damage, it, and we have a detangling method and so much more. So these are all first treatment results. So when wow. I started the four naturals treatment in 2019 for myself, Right. I then opened up like this, like treatment, like, okay, I'm going to do these treatments for black women for free. 
right. over the course of seven treatments to right. see if they're having the same experience that I'm having. And they right. did. So I opened yeah. up a Four Naturals hair spa. Mm -hmm. And so these are hair spa clients. Mm -hmm. uh, these are first treatment. Uh, the person on the top, she has color in her hair. And do you see, like, there is a complete, like, difference in the texture, the exactly. way it falls, like, everything. Yeah, and exactly. we, we called her Miss Muscles because she stayed in the gym. And so for her, the sweat aspect yes. of life yes. was real and had not been solved yet. And then you have this person at the bottom, Kelly. I met her at an audition in L.A. And right. her hair looked like the before, and she fucking put a headband on it. And she was like, this is what it is. And I was like, you know what? It could be better. Yeah. And yeah. so I told her, come on through. And that was her first treatment. These are first treatment results. First so treatment results. how does it work? Yeah. And this is also a first treatment, but we did this at my house and she changed her shirt. But for her, she was also a model actress and, right. you know, she lived in wigs and things and she didn't believe that she had a curl pattern. She was only finger detangling. Um, you know, her hair stood up and right. was stiff. Right. And after one treatment, it completely changed her hair for the right. better. And so the henna, the cassia, the slippery elm, it's permanent. And that's why the cosmetology board says don't use it. But they also say it's because most hennas contain chemical or metallic salts. Most, not all. And right. so what's in the henna mud mask? Henna lawsonia, just pure, uh, the henna plant that's been dried, pulverized into a powder, that's what's in the henna mud mask. So people with color on their hair can use it before and after their color. Right. So it re all the issues that, the, that they say you're going to have, you literally don't have. And this is literally for all Black women of all Black hair care walks of life, save for okay. dreads. Okay. Save for dreads because why the henna and the coffee and all of that, it, it's a monster to try to rinse out. Yeah. Also, it's the dreads are already heavy, so it's right. going to pull yeah. on your scalp. Right. It's no, it's a no go. But everybody else, chemicals, no chemicals, it's for you. And so it's great for all hair types, mm -hmm. but it's also, like I said, color safe. This is Amore. And if you go to her Instagram now, she just posted, she just had a birthday. She's in Houston. Okay. She's a Houston stylist and she just had her birthday and she did her press. So for her, she, yeah, she's a hairstylist, but she still has black hair problems right. and she has a type three curl pattern. Right. Mm -hmm. And so even for her, she, in that before photo, she had used some like pH balance shampoo and it wrecked her hair. And she's used to just chopping her hair. Like yeah. her Instagram pre 2021 was all about how she just cuts it off. Like, oh, I put some color in it and yeah. it's falling out. Yeah. I just cut it off, yeah. let it grow back. And so yeah. she kept it really short. And so she was like on this growth journey, like 2020, 2021, she wanted to grow her hair finally. Mm -hmm. And so she knew of my product from my current partner. They had like worked together. And so she was like, oh, like, can she help my situation? Like yeah. I'm about to cut it off again. I'm yeah, like, girl, yeah, don't yeah. cut it. Don't yeah. cut it. That's one treatment her after right days after her first treatment. Mm -hmm. And then she goes back to color. And if you go to her Instagram right now, a M O R E Amore, mm -hmm. she just celebrated her birthday. She got a blowout. The hair is so long. Mm -hmm. And then her last post, she's like, I just, I'm like on this, like, don't cut my stuff. Like yeah. shrinkage is real. So now I'm like, don't cut me, don't cut me. But I, she pressed me out and dusted my ends. And she was like, even after all the color and all the straight, all the curly, all of that, your hair is so healthy. Yeah. All I have to do is dust the ends. Yeah. And that's the experience of the henna. It's like a coat of arms and every treatment, the hair gets better, it gets thicker. And so those mm -hmm. frayed ends, they can't, the cuticle can't come up because right. it's been paved with henna. So yeah, you don't have to cut off three to four inches because you've been flat ironing your hair because mm -hmm. you're treating it with henna. So it's a completely different experience What's for your name? hair. Amore, A-M-O-R-E, Amore. Is this it? Um, Monet? Mo yep, Amore Monet. Okay. Wow. You see the red hair? Oh my God, look, oh. it looks good. That's her life now. Like that literally, that's her life now. Yes, oh that's my her. God, it looks so good. 
grade. Yeah. Yeah. She like, she's, she's like, always like, I can't. <laughs> yes. Yes. But, but this, in the story, she says she didn't have to. They, yeah. She, all she had to do was dust mm-hmm. the ends. Mm-hmm. That was it. I love it. You know? It's so amazing. And it, it's, yeah. it's ironic that we're speaking about hair today mm-hmm. and in such depth and importance. Yeah, it is. Uh, we both have daughters. Yep, we do. And um, just now, my daughter was texting me. He's like, Mom, I want to get these, uh, whatever they call what it, the locks, the, the thing majigs where they twist the little hair on there, make it look like locks, but it's not. Faux locks. The sister locks? No. Faux locks. She, so, Faux she locks. Wants, so she wants she, to do something temporary. Yeah, she okay. wants to do something temporary. So and, faux locks. And my daughter, she she has beautiful hair. We did a, uh, um, a press twice. And her hair has been thin and short ever since. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying mm-hmm. to figure out, like, what the hell happened? You know, we were true. on a we went on a roll mm-hmm. getting your hair stronger. Right. And now we did this. And I'm like, uh, and now you want to add to your hair yes. to the weave with right. the braids and all? Yes. Like, oh, More we got to protect ourselves. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you're beautiful the way you are. You don't need anything. Why do you keep wanting these things? Because One, they cost what, money. But this is what they also and, see. And yeah. to them to us it's what their it, friends it, doing and it made it easier it's, it's just yeah. like you know what i know my hair is damaged fuck it i'm gonna just cover it up and then yep. deal with it later and that's yep. what they've been doing so i have a one daughter who does have um na- well both my daughters have natural hair N- neither right. one of them have ever had any um chemical relaxers, as far as relaxers in their hair right, right. right. No. um but one i had to lock her hair you know what i'm saying because it was it was just that that drying Mm-hmm. The detangling. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other one is more of a, a, a CB in between mm-hmm. a wave and a mm-hmm. curl. Um, but, but just like you, she couldn't find the curl pattern. When it's mm-hmm. wet and when it's saturated, it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's really pretty. But then when it's dry, it's like, wait, what happened? Yep. Yep. An hour ago. It, it's, it's not yep. the same. And because here in Houston, the, so the, the humidity the humidity is so ridiculous the weather is so all over the place you mm-hmm. want to do something that protects and penetrates as well but the products that we've been i've used every product there there's products in every fucking bathroom that i have mm-hmm. and it's like you just got to mix all that shit together because at this point i'm tired of buying shit <laughs> yeah you, you buy it for okay this picture works mom i saw this on instagram mom i saw this on tiktok mom i saw this on youtube Okay, let's try it. And, you know. Yeah, I do know. I do yeah. know. So, it I mean, fucking it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Right. And and I'm right. here to tell you, it it can be better. With the four natural treatment, not only better, it can be completely different. Like, for Amore, like, when I have, like, tough moments, like, you know, with four naturals where I'm like, God, like, I wish more black women knew about this. And this is why I'm doing so many podcasts now right, because yeah. it's like, it's time to get the word out. Like it now is. I have to aggressively just go out and get the word out. Right. Um, but I'm like, wow, like what keeps me going? It's people like Amore, yeah. people like uh, Mona, people yeah. like even Delva with her daughter. Yeah. Her daughter has low porosity hair and she's extremely tender headed. And I yeah. remember when we first started working together, you know, her daughter would be getting her hair braided and she would be crying bloody yeah. murder. And I would be like, Delva, please let me send you some <laughs> treatment yeah. and yeah. let's like get that right. And now several treatments later, there's not as much drama in her house. Right. Like right. she's like, her daughter's still young. So, you know, it's like, okay, so now I'm trying to teach her how to do it, but now, it's not like, oh, and she screams bloody murder. Like she yeah. loves her hair. Right. She loved her hair pre-treatment too, but it was hard, right? right. Mm-hmm. And then post-treatment, she's getting in the pool yeah. and you know, like they have a very simpler routine now. Right. And right. the smile with her curls is just like, it's just mm-hmm. different. Everything it's, it's, is just different. It's everything. I'm so glad that you chose to come talk to us about this today because tra- hair trauma starts so young. You don't realize that, you know, when you say, okay, you're going to get your hair shampooed, you're going to get your hair combed, you're going to get your hair straightened, the trauma is instant because yeah. it's like, I'm going to have to be in this chair all day. I'm going to be yep. in pain. It hurts. Yep. I don't want the braids. Maybe I want a ponytail. Maybe I want some, Maybe I want to look yeah. like my bar. Can I get a bum? And, yeah, can I, and can I, just do me a whatever bum. you did and whatever you did, there's no going back. Like, 
it's like we spent all this time so i have to be in this one ponytail or these braids yep. for the yep. next couple of weeks There's and it's no like as a little girl you're like i want first i want variety yep. and yep. i want but mm -hmm. yeah, yeah totally, totally. I, I i i want um are you going to ever get to the point to where you are doing seminars where you are educating natural hair stylists yeah because, i because actually it, it, <laughs> It, it needs to get to that point because the reason why we aren't going to the salons is because nobody is taking care of our natural hair. We'll get exactly. the style for the moment, for the event, but over time... You're not coming back. You're not, you're you're not, not like, going back. there. So you're not, like, making that a really regular... Going. Right. Yeah. I, I feel like, you know, it, 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 it's, it's time for stylists to be educated. But not yeah. just for them, because it's easier to sell a product that you know will work. The reason why we're not buying that shit in the salon, because, bitch, I only need this for tonight. Like Exactly. You know yeah. I, 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 so how can we order this? Where can we so get this can, from? <laughs> we're direct to consumer. Okay. And we're also on the salon centric marketplace for the time being. Um, but yes, I am. I'm meeting with another podcast. Uh, that has our own hair school in Michigan. So we're working awesome. on, I'm going to go there and teach. And right. there's another woman that I just did the podcast with earlier that has connections with different cosmetology boards. Right. And so, yeah, like I definitely am doing the work now to get it yes. out, but it's yes. for naturals, hair.com F O U R naturals, plural as in all of us hair.com and you go to the right. store we have all these tutorials i mean i my business is all about like accountability i want to be there with you for you right. and help you work through whatever like hair malady you have because mm -hmm. what you're going through is so normal right. but post treatment right. it can be better right right and so this is the the treatment overview like this is literally three treatments all within the same month the same head of hair and month that the beginning of the month you look completely different than you do at the end exactly. of the month yeah. like exactly. it's completely different and then you want to talk about heat damage keta right. this yeah. is my proof for you she was yep. a 14 year old girl her mother is a hairstylist yep. and they would press her hair well she was following different black girls on YouTube and, or, or Instagram. And she wanted curls. She wanted her curls back. But when they wet her hair, it was straight. As you can see in that first treatment, yep. the first thing that comes back are the ends. Yep. And so from one treatment to three, you yeah. see that shrinkage is yeah. back. The curls are more consistent. And these are on treatment days her wash days in between. So let's talk about washing my hair. When I'm wearing my curls, it takes me an hour from wet to the curls are done and I hit it with a blow dryer a little bit, you know, like an hour, right? Because now when I detangle my hair, my hair just curls. So I add gel and I go about my life and then I get to wear my wash and go for right. a week two weeks you know when water hits it if, yeah. if, I, if it's like getting dry i like forego the shower cap and i let yeah. the steam hit my yeah. hair yeah. and it like it is what it is like i feel beautiful no matter what right. like sex is different you know right. like i was just about to it, ask when, about that so yeah how, how does your partner deal with like are you in a relationship are you dating are you yeah. married how how is it different now from the first time with the hair trauma to now the hair goddess <laughs> so oh girl <laughs> and it is a goddess um, <laughs> a magic carpet ride okay. um, so, <laughs> so before pre-treatment like most black women like i was in like wigs and things and for me it'd be like i don't really know why you would want to like touch it but if you want to i mean you can okay. uh it doesn't do it any yeah it doesn't <laughs> do anything for me because yeah. it's not my but whatever you know right, whatever right. but i didn't feel like i didn't feel sexy you know yeah. like i didn't feel like because all of myself, I wasn't accepting, right? Right. right. So, so that was part of my pole journey, right? right? Was, all right, I know out in the world, like, I'm like, don't look at me, please don't look at me. I'm like, hat, sunglasses, like, go away. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, there 
that was like part of like growing up in New York and like all of that, like street harassment and not right. feeling safe being sensual in public right. spaces, right. right? Because of right. the danger that can come with that. Mm -hmm. And so I started doing pole and like, all right, I'm going to explore right. this private thing in public with, yeah. you know, all these other women who are exploring their shit too. But like that mirror shit, that mirror work was real. And it was like, where is the pain? The pain was on top of my head. And you know, everything that comes with that. And so for me, like pre-treatment, when I was like taking the wig off and, you know, all of that, you know, I, I was like trying to love and accept myself. But then when I had the wig and I was like working out a lot, I had one of the people that I was dating at the time told me that my hair smelled like glue. So that's like, ick. <laughs> it's like embarrassing. <laughs> It's like, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like awkward, mm -hmm. but that shit's real, right? Yeah, like yeah. she wasn't like shading me. She yeah, was yeah, telling yeah. me the truth. The shit yeah. smelled like Elmer's glue. Yeah. And it was because I had had like weeks of sweat in my hair and I, it was sewn on, right? right? So it was like, oh, the work of having to. And so post-treatment, it's a completely different vibe. Right. Like with my curls, like I, I was divorcing in 2019. So, you know, I was in December, I went on a solo trip to Barcelona and like, it was a completely different vibe. Like single Shalita at the end of 2019 was very different from single me, like in any other period. Right, right, like right. I would wake up in the morning and I would, just walk outside and <laughs> the wind would move my shit. Yeah, yeah. And I would like get coffee and I would like, oh, I'm gonna go get lost for a while. And I'm like turning heads everywhere. And this is like bedhead, right? And then when I would like come back and like I would be going on dates and things, I used Tinder a lot while I was out there. And it would be like, it would be like, Wow, like the women would touch my hair and it yeah. would be like, it's so soft. And I'm like, yeah, girl. Exactly. I know. It's soft I know. <laughs> yes. You know, like touchable, fuckable yeah. hair. Yeah. And so, like for me, like I feel like so, like on my Instagram page, there was, uh, I posted me and like this brown bralette, like, totally like in my natural shit. And I had like went to Barcelona with the silk press. I went out to this club and I danced. I woke up the next morning, I looked like Diana Ross. Yeah. I jump in the shower, I convert, I revert my curls back. Yeah. And I was just like fucking sexy for the next like week and a half. <laughs> and so like I woke up after having like pasta and I was like, this bitch is bad. Like look at yeah, this shit. Yeah. It yeah. Like, yeah. like it was like everything. Like it it's is. a completely, different life yeah. yes and my partner now all she knows is four naturals like right. she i met her like at the end mm -hmm. of the silk uh, the silk press the brazilian blowout mm -hmm. so she knew my long but right. like chemically damaged hair right. Right. and so i was like i had press i was doing so much press for you and i burned the back of my neck and that was the impetus to be like all right cut this shit off because i didn't have that versatility of yeah, like yeah. beautiful curls and straight hair i had like damaged looking curls and straight hair so yeah. it was like i felt like okay i have to flat iron it and so that day i was like fuck it let's cut it i know it's gonna grow back it's gonna look dope and she was with me for the entire 2022 year yeah. and got to see like all of these like variations exactly. of me and like you know she loves my shit like she yeah. she loves it and exactly. you know yeah, who wouldn't? So, you know. So, so now is now is sex different when someone touches your hair because hair, yeah. is, very, hair is a very intimate part of sex. You exactly. So much. imagine like cutting right. off, right. you know, no, an entire been, part of no, you. I've been completely faded before. My my thing is my hair is not me. Yeah, I I am me. So what yeah. I see, that's me. I don't know how to turn my sexy off. A lot of times yeah. when I'm walking by, I'm like, oh, bitch, you bad. I mean, you thicker than you was, but you fine as fuck. <laughs> so I don't know yes. how to turn that part of me off. So even when I was faded and somebody would rub my head, it would still make me feel like, yeah, I'm on my shit. I'm doing it. Right. <laughs> so, uh -huh. so I know it's better when when 
it's yours because it's different when it's yeah. like, oh shit, they about to touch it, they about to feel that track, they about to feel that wig. That's like, I can yeah. put my finger. But if you don't. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That, yeah. So that is a real, I mean, not just for work, like you, your experience where it was a mm -hmm. disconnect between you and your hair. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, it's just a thing that there is always a disconnect between us our body mm -hmm. and our hair mm -hmm. exactly. when it's all of us yes. that's there yes. and that all of us need to be accepted right. in whatever yeah. space that we're in. Right. So yeah. we, do, we, we, we gotta get back. Like yeah. Rachel mentioned earlier, like we do everything yep. for everybody else. Right. And yeah. now we just coming into our own spaces again, yes. which is so amazing. Right. And I'm going through their journey right now. Right. And it, it, it's like you're giving me so much life, life. because oh, my, yes. I'm, I'm locked. Yes. I'm locked. Yes. I'm, and I'm going to stay locked <laughs> right. for a while. Right, right, right. Okay. I got little That's people, okay. Yes. I got little people but we that I can experiment to be, with. Exactly. With this. Yeah. But, but it's not even an experiment. It, it, we, it's, it's little people that we need to transform and we need yeah. to educate. Because we're the mothers of, of girls, you know, it's a thing and we don't want them to connect trauma with their hair either because yeah. they are in that stage where they're like my hair don't look like that I'm trying to get this picture I'm trying to get that post and it's yeah. just not working so we need to educate ourselves so we can educate our young ladies because it's a lot behind it but um, yeah yes you just gave so much thank you today. so I'm much. excited <laughs> I'm so grateful my excitement comes right here <laughs> I <knew it> was <laughs> Her nipples turn in. I know. <laughs> yeah. We I don't know what he did. I don't know what, what he did. <laughs> we, we were given a suggestion by Black Hand, but we don't know what he has seen. <laughs> <laughs> so but, so in moving forward, are you still actively how, how has this changed acting for you? Oh my God! With, 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 with not having that trauma being brought to where you are now, it's so awesome. So, what is the difference, like post treatment, like as an actress? Well, like I did a short film that, like, I had a sex scene. Like now, I do all these sex scenes, right? right like right, right. interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Right. So, um, pre post treatment. I did this short film and yeah, like we were like, it was early in the morning yeah. and she was like, oh, um, is it okay to touch your hair? I'm like, yeah, because my character is fucking sensual. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know? And so going from like, you know, having to be in wigs and, and extensions, now I just use my own hair. Right. So I just shot a pilot where um, my character has natural hair. Well, the end of this, the, the thing, I'm in a jacuzzi mm -hmm. and the director just decides, she's like, I want you to go underwater at the end of the scene. And so my black male hair person, now I can work with anybody now because right. my hair is bulletproof. Right. So it's right. like, all right, are we doing curls? All right, so this is what you need to have. This is what you need to do, boom. Right. Right. And they, they look at me like I got three heads, like, you sure? Like, cause we usually have to like twist and whatever. I'm like, no, if you use some gel and brush it, it's gonna curl. Like that's yeah. it, it's just gonna curl. And day one hair looks different from day three. Day three is all volume, baby. So yeah. it's like, you know, what, what you want. So he's having a conniption fit in the back. Like, oh my God, you like, you want her to go underwater? What is going to happen with her hair? And so the director looks at me and asks, <laughs> like, what is going to happen? And I told her it's going to curl. Mm -hmm. The curls are going to look like these. There'll be a little, like, less volume, but it's going to mm -hmm. be these curls. Right. And so I do the jacuzzi. I get dunked three, four, five times, and the curls are just there. there. So I, I, that reaction comes from them having actresses argue the point of, I can't get my hair wet. Exactly. <laughs> so, so she's fine. She's okay. Oh, yes. Let's go. <laughs> and so like, I am completely like before I was limited, right? right. Tito, we talked about the limits, yeah, right? right? Earlier right. pre-show. <laughs> well, now I don't have no limits. I'm a right. no limit soldier, right. you know? I'm just, <laughs> you know what I mean? 
just set to set, you know, like, I don't need that. I can do that. I can do that. I don't need that. You know, just like no limits. So it's like, whatever my character needs to do, I can do pre-treatment. If a director was told that an actress couldn't do something, it's on the actress. You can't use her anymore. Like there, she's limited. right? Right. And so for me now I'm like, I want all of us to get this money. Thank you. Cardi B. Um, so sis, you know, the girl that I saw at the audition, I saw her situation come to the hair spot. I'll hook you up. Like, I want you to get the money. Right. Mm -hmm. And I know the only thing holding you back is what's going on on your head. Mm -hmm. And it can be better because it is better. Mm -hmm. Like these curls, like there's like, 2% 2% of people with curly hair and the right. four naturals treatment, it brings out your unique curl. You're exactly. fucking gorgeous. You're fucking unique. Exactly. And if you want to straight your shit, straight your shit, but no, you can revert that shit back. So, exactly. you know, like that for me, I'm like, I'm here for us. Let's right. get this money. Let's like change the, the stereotypes. Let's change that, that narrative of what we right. can and cannot do. Right. Because the only thing that was holding us back was the white standards that we were adhering to. Right. Now that we have nature on our side, right. you're free. Right. Right. It's, it's because we didn't have the knowledge. Yeah. It's because we were ignorant. You didn't have the knowledge, but you didn't. Nah, I hate that. I hate that. You said it twice already. I was like, okay, cool. Ignorant. But no. the, the, yeah, no, you know, I hate you know, it. You know, you know I why hate I said it. that? You know why I said that? Because some people choose to to take the knowledge. Some people are like, nah, that shit not going to work for me. I'm not going to do it. So right. Some people choose to be ignorant. But I will say this. I will say that the reason we're in the predicament that we're in, because there are a lot of women who are trying to go to knowledge, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it's what it's what we have on offer. And right. our certifying bodies tell us this is bad and this is right. good, right? And right. so you believe them, right? Because who else is there, right? So for me, I'm like, it's not ignorance. It's just, you ain't got the treatment in your hair. And once you get that shit in your hair, you literally, everything that you were told pre-treatment you couldn't do, you can do. So it's not ignorance. It's just that your hair couldn't. Your hair doesn't have the health. Your hair doesn't have the things that it needs to do the things you want it to do, even if it is to see your natural curl pattern, right? Even if it is developing a manageable routine, right? Mm-hmm. Your hair, it's true. It's hard. It, it it betrays you. It changes up. You use the same fucking uh, lotion and whatever, whatever, yeah, yeah, twisting yeah. butter. And then yeah. you use the shit two weeks later and the hair don't even react yeah. well. You're like, yeah. what is going on? Yeah. It's the health of our hair. And once the hair is healthier, it's just completely different. So do you always have to use the treatment or are there shampoos and conditioners and products in between? Is this yeah. only it, it, Yeah. So you use your treatment as a treatment, right? So when people come and they're like, all right, I got all these hair issues. Like I don't have like curl definition, whatever. You do that first treatment. All right. What they, what I tell you is other people tell you that their curl cream, their twisting butter, whatever, if you use this, you will see curls. Mm -hmm. What I say is if you put this treatment in your hair, you can use anything and it's going to curl. It's going to do what the bottle, it treats the hair. So whether you treat the hair once every month, once every six months, henna is permanent Mm -hmm. and it's progressive. So it's going to treat. It's going to stick on to what was on there last. So for me, when I had a chemically damaged hair, because my hair was compromised, I treated my hair more often because I was also thermally straightening it. Right. So I did it every week there now, like when I did my big chop 2021 in October, I only treated my hair like once every month. And then when I would flat iron it, maybe I would do it like twice that month. Right. But it's a treatment. So between treatments, your wash days are a session. You can have a wash morning, wash afternoon, wash evening. But at the end of your wash with whatever shampoo or conditioner you're using, when you go to do your hair, if you're like, I just want to do curls, you would do your leave-in conditioner and your gel and you would detangle it. Yeah. And those are your curls. And I teach you how to stretch. If you want to like stretch your curls, you can do things to stretch them. Right. But if you're like doing like, like, oh, I'm seeing a fuzzy, take some water and smooth it out. The hair 
curls yeah and treatment over treatment those curls are just stronger and they it just better for my low porosity curl friends it does take two, three treatments for you to see like, okay, finally, I can, I got my curls and they're not ashy the next day, right? Like I can get curls and it's softer, but then it's like, mm, but then like the next day or day two, it's like ashy. And so I like have to refresh it more, right? By your third, fourth treatment, that low porosity, we're bringing you closer to balance. Right. So depending on how far low you are, it's gonna take a few but everybody yeah. gets softer hair, curl definition. By the end of your one jar, which is like three to four uses, your hair is completely different. Can you overuse this product? No, there's no how, such how thing. Is, no, because you know what I'm talking about. Like yeah. we over condition, we mm -hmm. under shampoo. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause yeah. it's like, yeah. oh, this is heavier or this is lighter. Yeah. I, I have some heavy handed people in my life. So yeah. I feel like they're going to, uh, no, I don't do, no, I'm, I'm not, I don't do hair no more. Um, so I, I know that what they're going to do is what they're used to and it's yeah. overusing the product. Yeah. So that's, I, so how this big treatment, this, this treatment is for us, okay. for fours. Right. I'm also a type four. Right. So I did that too. Right. right. So right. that's why. It's perfect for us right. because you can sleep with the treatment on. I got this human repeat insult patch tested. So we're dermatologically tested. Mm -hmm. You can sleep with the treatment on, you rinse mm -hmm. it out, always deep condition, just deep condition. There is no, if you decided, that's why I have my, like, I did three treatments in one month, you know, mm -hmm. and it's just, the hair is just better. It just builds on the last. You might feel because there's coffee, so you are um, you are exfoliating your scalp, and that henna and the coffee and the slippery elm and the cassia, great for scalp issues like dandruff and things like that. So if you're gonna overuse it, and the only way I would think like you would overuse it is if you're using it like every day, which is just like you probably never would do that. But even if you did, even if you did, even if you did, I would just say make sure you add a little oil to your scalp. Yeah. You know. That's it, because so, it's just building. So you are, um, I, I'm not sure what number, but there are other actresses in the industry who have created their own uh, products, yeah. like uh, Taraji. Tracy Ellis Ross Tracy Ellis, and yeah. Taraji, so yeah. What, what's the difference between your products or, and their products, or have you even considered trying or uh, trying to differentiate the, b between them? So the difference between my treatment and their products is that my treatment will make their products work better in your hair. So if you used it before and you were like, oh, I don't like this conditioner. Oh, I don't like the shampoo because that's what they're selling. They're selling shampoos. They're selling conditioners. They're selling like tools, right? They're selling like creams and things like that. I have a treatment right. that is going to alter the course of not only your hair, but your life. Right. And so your life, with other people's products will be different. So all of my product junkies, like you, Rachel, you yeah. got like all gonna, of these products in your house. Now, gonna have to you're gonna use them all. No, no, you're gonna use them all okay. because that's what you learn. This yeah. treatment will take drugstore products and make it look like you went to the hair salon. Mm. Like you're like, oh my God, my curls are just curling. And it yeah. puts you back in the driver's seat because right. all of these like styling products and things, they were made with a balanced porosity in mind, which is why the products don't work as well, right? Because right. the health of your hair is not the form, it not formulated to that formula, right? right. And so it just fucks your shit up. Right. And so you end up like having like all these creams and things and you're like, yes. these don't work. Yes. Yep. When you have that henna treatment in your hair, it works. Right. And so everybody, all of my treatment ambassadors, all of my clients, what they talk about is how they use things to the end now because they just work yeah. and they work consistently because you have this consistent coating of plant in your hair that has improved the porosity or the health of your cuticle. Right. So you can use the products like the products just work. So all of the products that you have, I would say go on a no buy for the rest of the year. Fucking just use everything you got in your closet. Yeah, that's what she gonna do. Yeah. I'm not buying, I'm not, uh, the only thing I'm buying is a treatment and then that's, fuck it. That's it, and that's it. All that shit. And that's it, all of it. And she gonna be like, oh my God, look at how this gel looks. 
yep. versus this one. I actually like this one yeah. better, right? She's going to do a whole little thing. She's going to set up her phone. She's going to be like, so this is what I put on there. And yes. Then that shit. But this right here is what you want to use. Like, I, yes. So we have a little commercial coming your way. But <laughs> I love that. that. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Because, because we, we, we need that. We yeah. Need that. So who do you, in, in the industry, in Hollywood, who do you really want to transform? Is there anybody that you there's a lot like, of people. I, you need me. I, I I wish you just come to me. Let me let me fix all of that. Wait, can you can you do this? Can you say this? Can you answer? <laughs> no. You want to do it all? You know why? You, you, you know why? You want me to say something? Yeah, you say somebody. You say somebody. <laughs> but for me, <laughs> it's <laughs> she just who? Needs a little bit of help. Gabrielle Union. She just need a little bit of little bit of help. Okay. And you know what? She's one of the ones with her own products. Do you know that? I just need just to add one more thing. Yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, the treatment. <laughs> like literally, literally. I mean, for me, it's like everybody. Yeah. Like anybody who every character they have is in a wig. Yeah. I, I know you got hair. Yeah. And I know it's gorgeous. Yeah. I know you just need treatments. Mm, That's yeah. it. Like it's literally everyone. Yeah. Like anyone you, and everyone. Yeah. How did you feel when you was watching Wakanda for? Uh, uh, and and the woman king. Did you feel like I could just send some of my products that way? And, you know, and no, because you know what? Just... You know what? I I I'm of two minds, right? Because I am an actress, so it's like, all right, it's a period piece. Nobody had these thick ass, luscious ass curls, right? Yeah, yeah. So like, woman king, it's like it's all good. Like, okay. all right, fine. Okay. Okay. But then of the other mind, I'm like, wow, like the Wakanda, like, yeah, like I know the bald look was, a, that's a choice and that's yeah. like really strong. Yeah. But I do know that those actresses hair does, they don't, it doesn't grow long. Right. And they do have very typical coarse, mm -hmm. you know, natural hair. And so for me, it's always like, you know, like it is the piece, right? Like they, right. they should look like that. Right. right. But what are the red carpet photos like, mm. right? The real, real. What are the what are the IG photos like, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, but we're we're very selective on what we put in place for other people to see. We're, yeah, we're not, we're not gonna put our driest moments out there. Yeah, but some of us live a dry ass life. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's so what it's saying, like, so like, think it. about those actresses, yeah. right? Like yeah. you go to their IGs and the shit is just ashy as shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Like no matter what. So yeah. it's like for them, I'm like, yo, I understand. So are you sending treatments to, to certain places? You know how Beyonce well, sent her little, uh, what is that boxes? shit? The, the, the boxes. Ivy Park. Yeah, the Ivy Park. <laughs> are you sending these? <laughs> to actresses in uh, Atlanta in Atlanta <laughs> and, and LA because because let's be real in LA it's not like you said you you're you there they you know it's covered up they don't yeah. expect us to look like this so are, no. you, are you sending out boxes I mean, I will happily, I will happily, happily get the word out. There's a lot of hair, uh, fire hazards yeah. material. It is, it is, it yeah. really is, it truly is. She can help you, Tyler. Come on, Tyler. Come on. <laughs> Put that mic right there. She can help you. Tyler, Tyler. You know <laughs> what, though? <laughs> You know what? I should like try to get a meeting with him just to I'm talk just about saying. four naturals. I'm just there saying. You know. Just to talk about four and, naturals. And, because and here's the thing: to educate the women with with their underneath look. Yes. They, because everybody, you know, they don't have to wear it. No, they don't because they have hair. But mm -hmm. it's like the For maintenance. Yeah, you can't know. keep it yep. in the same shape, form, whatever. It's drama, Hours. right? Yeah. Hours. Yeah. And they're hiring people that don't do that hair. That's so, problem. yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah Honestly, get though. Yeah, Tyler, <laughs> get that mean. Come on. Honestly, though, like I, I feel like and this is like part of where where I'm at and what I'm doing now is it's the credibility. Right. Yeah. Like I have sent it out, right. but there is a lack of appreciation because mm. people are followers. Right. Mm. See, so they the need to know they need to know that mm. there's a movement happening and that it can be great. Like I had yeah. I had this woman reach out to me. And she was like, oh, I just want to feel like 
more like confident with uh, my natural hair. That's how it started. Right. And, you know, do you know anyone? I know that you, and I'm like, oh my God, I will happily do the treatment for you. Like, you know, I'll fly to you. I live in Mexico. So right. like, I can come to you, girl. Right. Don't worry about it. And her response, I think because I was so like real and so, and she's very Hollywood. And her response was, oh no, like, cause I was like, look, you're, I know you got hair. And I, you know, like you, this treatment will have you rocking your natural hair straight. Like you rock them bust downs. Right. Like mm -hmm. you, it can happen. Like right, I right. literally lived it. Right? right. And even though I cut off 13 inches, I'm like fucking rocking right. a year exactly. later. Like at the end of this year, I'm going to look like when I cut. Right. right, right. So but her response was, Oh no, like, um, <laughs> I'm just looking for somebody to braid my hair down. And it was like, what, what, wait, did I so offend so you so by so being like, real? Right. Like, so it's, you know what? It's, it's like, it's an unhealthy relationship. Yeah. You talk about it a little bit, and then you're like, um, girl, well, you, need, you just need to leave. You just yeah. Like, no, no, no. I, I, you know, I he loves me. He loves me, and he needs me, and I can right. change him. So, so, so she has to decide because wearing your own hair, dealing with the years of trauma that you deal with or have dealt with, is it can be really scary. So yeah. you already had the aha moment. Yeah. And if she really Hollywood, she feels like this is what she Hollywood has to. is going to accept. Exactly. So, so for me, I'm like, I'm like it's so just, it's it's just a waiting game. Everybody. Yeah. It's, not, it's not meant for everybody. If you're looking for no. a breakdown, you should have picked somebody off fucking Instagram um, yeah. instead of contacting me. Because, you know, me? you're a realist. So you could scare people. It's yes, I do. I'm fucking, it's just like, oh God, like, <laughs> you know? Oh like, I'm oh like, shit. take the wig off. Take the wig off. They're yeah. like, this little leprechaun, get out of here. Yeah. I'm like, no. Yeah. No. Because so cause, cause everybody doesn't feel like they can get to where you are. But yeah. they don't also don't know your journey. So if you yeah. haven't seen me transform myself, then you feel like, oh, well, this bitch got hair, so she thinks she can just She's pulling me. a Taraji. Right. She's right. pulling a Tracy. Like, this is just about money. Like, yeah. girl, I'm not trying to buy from you. But I'm like, girl, I will change your life. Period. Like, not on no lesbian shit. Period. On some, like, for real, <laughs> I will change your life. I'm not too. coming on to you. It can, it can okay? Be shit too. You can. <laughs> yes. Um, keep your options I, open. You know, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry you couldn't be here in studio. I would really love to give you a hug. But um, I, everybody is not, <laughs> I'm being serious, but everybody is not willing to have their life changed. That's a scary yeah. thing it's for not, some people. You know, it's like, yeah. no, I'll just live in my trauma. I'm just yeah. meant to have this trauma and I'm this is going to yeah. carry me. I know this. It's, it's, really, it's really unfortunate. It, it really yeah. is unfortunate. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad, but not glad that this happened to you, but you're <laughs> you creating something time. so amazing. Yeah. That's why I tell people you, you went through that to help others. Yeah. We go through things yeah. to help others. We first help yeah. ourselves, then we can help others. Yep. So yeah. if everybody is not willing to take the help. No. And that's it's fine. True. That means the message wasn't for you. So whoever that person was, I got it. I got the message. <laughs> I'm gonna type in. We are gonna order. So how big does the shit come? Cause I'm gonna need a tongue. I'm gonna need something to last so, for a year. That's too so small. That's is... too small. We need to talk about bigger bottles, okay? <laughs> if you got four girls at home, you know I have to buy one for everybody. Four girls. It's wow. A lot. It's a lot. Yeah. So that's that's you said the, you the said mud that's mask. Three months. Hmm? You said that's three months. Yeah, I mean, you could keep that for three months. If you are only going to do one treatment a month, yeah, you could keep oh, that no, for one no. jar for three months. But uh, every two weeks, <laughs> we need a we need a cycle first. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm also we playing with the idea of like subscriptions, right? right. Like for a low whatever, we can right, right. you know do that. Right. Um, but yeah, but it, nine ounces, eight ounce uh, cassia, and the cassia is truly a the best deep conditioning treatment of your life right. because it has elements in it with a high cationic charge, cassia, ulbavada, and slippery elm. Right. When you sit with deep conditioner and tresemme in your hair yep. and rinse it out, it rinses out. Yep. Cassia stays in. It's not right. permanent like henna, right. but it's semi-permanent and it'll last a few washes. So it's like a little mini treatment. So that's it. Those two products is all you need to like improve your life with your hair.
so we could so we could use this um I see, you know, because they have colored hair. I got a, mm-hmm. a lot of little ladies that want color in their hair. So this mm-hmm. this is perfect on color because some natural hair products are, you know, perfect. not specific for colored hair. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, yeah. 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 So this is perfect. Yeah. Girl from Houston. Yes. yes. Color. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Monet. So, so chemical color. Amore. Yeah. Like Amore, uh, Mona. Like she got a, a strand test and got like... Her hair lifts evenly. So right. if you got chemical color, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be fine. Just don't treat and chemically color in the same week. Right. Um, so you will continue to grow your colored hair, live your best life. Now for natural blondes, I don't suggest the henna mud mask right now because it comes in sun kissed brown. Mm-hmm. If you have grays in your hair, we have like varying results with the grays. I know for me, it colors my grays into this like beautiful, like blonde, mm-hmm. like brown situation. Uh, but there are some black women with type four hair that their grays are just like, shinier like they're just more brilliant so and you have everything in between so the grays yeah but for natural blondes i don't suggest it because it could just like completely like tint your hair and And if you want to keep it no huh no no but if you decided to comb it out girl i'm telling you this is the reason why i locked it because it's like what the i have it's so thick and full and i'm just like I'm not going to two strand fucking twist this shit all the time. I'm not going to. No, so. no, absolutely not. And you yeah. won't have to, but with the dreads in, you can't, but if you're going to transition out of them, if you are going to do a big chop, whatever, mm-hmm. I, this is your companion. Yeah, like crazy. I'm your friend. I'm yes. your friend. We're going to get through it now, together. Now I have, now you have your Hallie you moment. Got, <laughs> yeah, you, you got, got options. options. Yeah. You got yeah. options. Yeah. You got real freedom. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shalita. I mean, I am so grateful that yes, you came to speak to us today. We yeah. And we are so inspired. Like, yeah. Like, I'm I'm impressed. And I, yeah. I'm, I'm grateful because this is what we've been looking for. This, this is what we need. Literally Fuck, what we've been yeah. looking for. Yeah. Like, we, we have that, we, we keep, oh, that look, hair day. We, we, we almost decided, okay, we just going to have to lock one of them hair because yeah. we, we, it's we, too much we to do. we planning. Like, yes. They hate me combing their yep. hair. They feel like I'm about to yep. tear their hair. Again, it's that trauma. <laughs> it's the trauma. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is, so it's a battle. And and I just all I need you to do, so all I need you to do is just go to that Sally's Beauty Get you a Tangle Tamer plugged in. It's $7. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And put some olive oil in a spray bottle. Mm -hmm. And my detangling method is WDOT. Water, deep conditioner, olive oil, Tangle Tamer. You Mm -hmm. wet the hair, deep condition the hair, spray your olive oil on all your sections, and then go back to the first section. Because what do we do? You wet the hair, and you might even use a little deep conditioner to, but you immediately start working. Stop doing that. This is literally what we do. Stop. Yep. Okay, so go back back to it. Go back to the don't do this. Wet the hair. (laughs) Wet the hair. Section the hair into yeah. six sections, not four. What are you doing? See? With four sections. One Follow squint it. down the middle, one part in front of the ear, one part behind the ear. Yeah. Yeah. That's your six sections. Yeah. And don't get straight parts. Why are you putting straight parts in tangled hair? Exactly. That's also causing problems. Pro- yeah, time. Tina. Wasting you know time. what I'm saying? Just wasting, wasting the goddamn time. The part not straight. Not straight. Yeah, just, again. yeah, what the fuck oh, is that? Oh, 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 Stop! Stop! We didn't know. We didn't know. Then add some deep conditioner and spray your olive oil. Clip it. Leave it. Go to the next section. Do the same thing. I guarantee you, by the time you're done, just adding the deep conditioner and olive oil to your six sections, when you go back to the first one and you start at the end, it's like fucking butter. And I know you got the ick because I said olive oil. Fuck you, Rachel Ray, but also thank you. Let's think about why you only think olive oil should be in the kitchen. It's because of Rachel Ray. And she literally made millions of dollars by telling us to start cooking with olive oil. So it's only in the last couple of years we were using the olive oil in the kitchen, all right? Right. The Greeks have been using olive oil in their hair 
for exactly. exactly. And exactly. that olive oil is the missing key to that slip. You need yep. the slip to get yep. through it. And that olive oil, it gives you the slip and it ain't greasy. If it was greasy, she wouldn't have made millions of dollars, right? <laughs> I guarantee tell you, when you rinse yep. it out, it rinses out. Yep. Right, right. Yep. What about av avocado oil? Don't waste your time. Okay. Coconut oil. Don't do it. Don't put coconut oil in your hair. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, okay. Does it have to be only extra virgin? <laughs> Or can it be that? No. Okay. I, I got it. I One time I went to the dollar store. I was in Houston and it was late. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to spend $15 on olive oil. I went to the dollar store and they had olive oil and yeah. it had other like soybean and yeah, shit in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I used it. It was, it was, it was okay. okay. It was all right. Doesn't have to be extra virgin. Just. Make sure it had some olives in it, you know, <laughs> for that protein. Exactly. So tell everybody where they can find you, follow you, like and subscribe you, um, buy your products again. Tell everybody. I'm just going to tell the people that have listened to Talk in Pink today to go to www.4naturalshair.com mm -hmm. and get your entire life. Exactly. You can find me under my name, yeah. Shalita. Say it with me, Rachel. Shalita yeah. Grant. Grant. <laughs> there we go. Shalita there we go. Grant. Uh huh. Everybody, it's how you're suited. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Hello. You're welcome. <laughs> and you can find me there on Instagram or whatever. But you really want to go to fournaturalshair.com and improve your life. Thank you so Thank you. much Thank for you waiting so for much. me because I was late and for, <laughs> for, for educating us, for giving us the, the knowledge that we have for been freeing us, be, for, that we have been searching for. Because this is literally a weekly conversation. <laughs> what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? And how we gotta do it? Okay. Yeah. And so yes, you you just you've you given gotta, us life. You gotta come back. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Only if Rachel knows my name. Uh, other than that, that's my prerequisite. <laughs> Shalita Grant. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Don't ask me again. I'm about to type it. <laughs> Tomorrow is gonna be what? What's her name again? I know. Uh, Shalita Grant, girl. Shalita Grant. Uh, my girl Shalita, Shalita Grant. Grant got this hair together. Uh, boy. Yes, Grant. that's right. They, that's got, they right. might think that's the goddamn name of the product. I'm looking yes. for Shalita Grant. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's fournaturalshair.com, but it's Shalita Grant. Okay. <laughs> the magician. Right. Exactly. The exactly. magician. Exactly. Thank you. Thank right, you so God, much. Thank you. We appreciate you. We love you. <laughs> We're definitely going to support because supporting you is supporting us. Yes. So, that's right. It's going to make our life easier. Thank so, you. Just, Thanks for you. having me, ladies. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Four Naturals. Bye. Bye. Four Naturals. <laughs> Google.